we need to continue doing what we are doing now for many more weeks. We cannot be in a rush to get things going again. I received a really fascinating and informative email from a retired Canadian who for many years worked in sewer maintenance in Canada. And he discussed how on any given day, in any given situation, they would face a whole bunch of safety challenges and they would have to figure it out on the fly. And they would have to go, okay, how do we prevent uh, bad things from happening in this contract? How do we move forward with this particular job and do it in a safe and responsible way? And he said, looking at all of the coronavirus concerns right now across different sectors, industries, workplaces, he figured, well, if they had to deal with COVID-19 concerns, they'd be able to do it just like they did deal with all the other concerns that they faced every single day. And it was a really inspirational message to me because we're hearing from premiers and of course from Justin Trudeau and Dr. Theresa Tam, oh, we're not sure we can do this steady as she goes. We don't know if things are gonna be safe. Over the past days, people are talking about, oh, when we reopen this, we'll do this, we'll reopen that. It's not happening yet. You wanna know who knows? what's safe and how to deal with COVID-19 restrictions, people who specialize in their specific industries and sectors, they are the ones who know how they can bring themselves back to work. We know it's not business as usual right now, and we're working with businesses to remove barriers and help them adapt, because by working together, we'll get through this crisis and come back stronger than ever before. We're not going to do hasty, unsafe things as regular Canadians. A really interesting Angus Reid Institute poll showed that given the green light, regular Canadians would not proceed until two weeks after, or at least wouldn't return to living like they had normally. They will actually make cautious and judicious decisions in their everyday lives. So when we talk about opening up different workplaces, opening up different industries, you better believe that the people in those sectors are gonna be more cautious and more knowledgeable about how to do it than government. Here's the thing, the reopening needs to happen from the ground up. It is business leaders, specific people in their sectors who need to tell the government, get in touch with the government and say, this is what we're gonna do, this is how we're gonna do it. It's not the government that's gonna fit a plan and clamp down on regular companies. Now, to the credit of various different plans that we've seen, whether it's from the White House or Doug Ford's one in Ontario, they pretty much acknowledge it. They see that essential services have been told, okay, you guys can keep open, do it in a responsible way, and well, they have. Those essential services figured it out. Even basic things like the grocery stores that are open, the shoppers drug mart stores, they've just made it work. Some of them better than others and so forth, but they've figured out ways to keep going. And for two months now, those locations have been open and there have not been mass outbreaks in Costco and Loblaws and so forth. So we know the lessons out there and various different businesses, you better believe they're already sitting down and they have been for weeks to talk about how can we return to normal in a way that protects our workforce, in a way that we can still make our products or deliver our services in ways that are socially distanced, physically distanced, enhance cleaning protocols and so forth. And they're doing it because they want to do it and because they know they need to do it, not because they've been told by some top-down edict. So as we talk about reopening and everyone's talking about it, a couple weeks ago, I said we need to reopen and that two weeks later, that would be what everybody's agreed upon. We're all there. The question is how to do it. And I think one of the key ways to do it is just listen to the industry leaders. We should take our cues from them, not a top-down approach from government.